I want to talk about the three-day expandency. First, I'm going to skip over the rant and rave about the police not doing their job and having to come to a restraining order. The restraining order was served. Aubrey Ross was forced to leave the premises. There was three other men, to my knowledge, on the premises at the time when I went back up to retrieve. I had passed the officer on the way back up. The officer did not call me and tell me that there were still people on the premises. He had just told me that it had been to wait so long and then I could go up there because it would be served and she would be gone. Upon arriving at 8541 Oakey Lane that day, I got out of the vehicle and there was other vehicles there. A pickup truck with a modified trailer uh, from a pickup truck bed as well as another vehicle and I did not recognize any of these vehicles as Miss Costa did not ever have any other people there but myself or uh, <clears throat> occasional friend or helper and these were not her friends or her helpers. These were criminals and friends of Aubrey Ross's. Um, upon my entry into the home, I sought out the noise that I was hearing coming from the back. What was going on was that the men were barricading the doors. They were going to take possession of the property and fortify it against anybody taking it. Um, I call, I slowly backed out as I was being surrounded by these men. And uh, I called the officers back to scene. The officers forced me to give these individuals two more days, saying that uh, the whole mess out back and everything else would be cleaned up. I didn't even get a chance to see what was out back that day, um, but I knew that by what I could see from the roadsides, and what was already parked out front, there was already at least one trailer, if not two trailers, an RV, a van, and some other things I could not tell about. Later in investigation, there was a lot of things left behind on the second day, when I was supposed to take possession of the home at high noon, like some western cliché. You can take possession of it in two days at high noon. Yes, be there or be square. Not to make fun of the officers, but come on, that's a little, just a little too cliche and placating these criminals in the first place. Yes, okay, that's fine. Yes, I didn't want to have to clean up the mess, but guess what? I still had to clean up the mess and then some. Because when I got there, Benny Barrington was... Here, he was out back, um, and, uh, he turned around and then said something about, I'm calling the cops, once there was a foot race, because he was being very aggressive right off the bat, to the front door, and when I got to the front door, even though the front door was open, and the front door should have had locks in it, there was only one lock in it. I quickly shut it, I deadbolted it, I kept, I wanted to talk with him, but he would not talk with me, he would not associate with me, and probably because he, he heard that I had assaulted, uh, Sheila Acosta, but, um, it didn't dawn on me that he had to be talking with Aubrey Ross, or one of those men, or women, at the time. And, um, 
And it took several months later that it finally dawned on me that, wait a second, for him to be out there exactly when I was supposed to take possession of it and already have punched locks or taken out locks or whatever he did, some of them were drilled. I don't know why. Uh, maybe he came there and uh, Aubrey Ross and them had already had locked up the place. I don't know. But, um... Uh, once you would have gotten in any single way, and there was several ways, because when <laughs> when I got a hold of the possession of the house 30 days later, the damage, so much damage, I shouldn't even have had to wait three days. Some of that damage was not there when the officers had been there. These people, because they were losing control of the house, did more damage to the home because they were losing. They should have been forced to leave that day. I should not have been victimized more by them, and neither should have Miss Acosta. But because Marion County, again, listened to these criminals, gave them time to victimize us more. Again and again, Miss Acosta, hell, hang me if you want to. Miss Acosta, she had zero criminal record. Top top training as a nurse, studied nursing, been a nurse, saved, obviously, over $300,000, invested wisely, had social, a huge social security, still does, if they haven't touched that, hopefully, somehow, I don't know about those things, PERS, Lots of beautiful antiques. Don't just buy those with air, you know. All these wonderful things to prove how wonderful her career was. She didn't buy them to prove that, but the point is they're proof. You don't buy these things cheaply. You don't just find these cheaply. You pay for these through the nose. Hundreds, thousands of dollars with some of it. That's not cheap. And you think you can find it cheap? Go for it. She had some really, really old pieces of belongings. Some of them were actually museum pieces themselves. You can't replace that. I can say so much about Marion County being under man. I can say so much about the district attorney's office being overwhelmed. But when you have time and time again asked for help, time and time again trying to explain through the persecution, the lack of education, the continued abuse, the threats of continued abuse, where you only face a small brief interlude and then somebody that you think is also trusting also stabs you in the back but that's a whole different story point is this has gone on way way too long there is a definite track record here showing of evidence of how Aubrey Ross and her friends as well as Sheila Acosta's family of Carla Loudon, Benny Barrington and Sean Clark have all worked together to take different pieces of Sheila Acosta's life and belongings to 
put her either in a mental institution or a prison or facility, as well as do away with anyone and anyone, everyone, that stands in their way from actually obtaining over 300,000 worth of money. Dinero. Greenbacks. Lettuce. The crispy digits. Or in other cases, bits, coins, all those other things. As well as a house that has not just doubled, but literally quadrupled from its original sales price in a short time and stands to even triple again because of where it's located. I'm just saying, pretty good reason to get rid of two people and alienate everybody else around them. And it didn't take much to do me because I didn't have many friends or associates before. Look at the other videos. Till later.